Where is my phone? I can't make a video without the phone. Okay, I got it. <laughs> We're good. Continue. Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. So today we're going to check out a magnifying app for Android. I received an email recently. This person was saying that they created a magnifying app. They had actually made it just for themselves to use because they weren't happy with any of the ones that they had found on the Play Store. And then they decided to go ahead and release it out to the public, send it out there in the world for everyone to see. And what's awesome is they said that they wanted to give it away for free. They didn't want to charge for it. And they also didn't want to put ads on it. Some of these apps, that's how they make their money. They've got the ads running at the bottom or a banner at the top. And it's super annoying. <laughs> So they said they didn't want to do that because they agreed ads are annoying. They just wanted to give this out. So I thought that was really awesome. I said, yeah, I'd be happy to check it out. And it's really cool. It's called WeZoom, W-E-Z-O-O-M. Of course, I'll have a link in the description down below where you can check it out. I believe it's only available for Android. But what I really like about it is it's simple. It has all the things you need and nothing more. Some people try to throw everything at an app. They try to cram in as much as they can. They want to give people options. But then it's just, it's just too complicated, especially if you're low vision, too many little buttons and things on there that you got to try and see and figure out. And what does that icon mean? I haven't got a clue. There's a lightning bolt. What does that mean? You know? So the developer put in enough stuff to get the job done without overwhelming you. But enough of me talking about it. Let's rearrange the camera and we'll take a look at it. Okay, so let's launch the app here. I've got it on my desktop so it's easy to find. And we'll take a quick look at the controls. All right, so I've gone ahead and turned on TalkBack so you guys will be able to hear what all the controls are. So in the top left corner, we have the zoom factor, which that tells you the level of magnification you're at currently. Then in the top right, you have a menu button. Show advanced options button. Advanced options. Next, we have the color filters. Switch color filter button. And this has all the color filters that we're, we're very familiar with. Uh, that's one thing I like about this is those are tried and true color filters. They've been proven to work for the majority of people. So the developer has included them in here. Down at the bottom right, we have the flashlight button. You can turn that on or off. In the middle, Pause camera button. Is the pause camera button, and that will take a picture. It'll freeze frame. So let's check out those other options. Show advanced options button. So when you click on that, a little window pops out and gives us a couple other options. The first one. 50% camera exposure compensation, seat control. Camera exposure compensation. So this will lighten or darken the screen. Next. 50% color filter threshold, seat control disabled. Color filter threshold that's disabled right now. Uh, we may be able to change that in the settings. Not checked, continuous focus checkbox. Continuous focus. So one of the issues with magnification apps is the continuous focus. And you probably know what I'm talking about. You're trying to read something and the camera keeps focusing in and out of what you're reading because it's, it's continually hunting for focus. And that can be really annoying. So, one thing is you can turn that on or off. When it's turned off, if you need to focus, you just tap the screen and it auto focuses on what you're looking at. And then it doesn't do that hunting in and out of focus. Okay, let's bring in something to look at. I was just searching around the room here and I found this Halloween card. <laughs> I figure that's very appropriate since we are heading into October. So, let's check out what's on this card. Now, as I said, it's blurry, so you just want to tap the screen, and now it's focused. We're focused in on this little girl's face. One of the controls that I love about this is the zoom is just a swipe gesture on the screen. If I want to zoom in, I just swipe up. If I want to zoom out, I swipe down, and that is anywhere on the screen. I love that because, you know, with low vision, I don't want to have to try and hunt for a tiny little button 
or a little slider that's in one specific place. So we've got some words here. Let's see what it says. It says Halloween fact number 72. Then down underneath it, it says life is better with a sugar buzz. That is so true. <laughs> For me personally, sometimes I prefer the inverted color, so we're gonna tap on this color filter button, and the fact that it's bright yellow here makes it easier to see at a distance from me. So there is just standard inverted. We have the yellow letters on the black background. There is the yellow and blue, which I imagine some people like. I very rarely have met anybody that likes the blue and yellow, but some people must like it. And then we are back to regular color. So let's go, maybe uh, maybe this isn't bright enough. Let's turn on the flash. There we go, nice and bright. We can turn that off again. Say I want to take a picture and bring it closer to me. Just freeze frame there. And now we've got a picture. Tap it again to go back to live view. Now also in the advanced options here, there's a couple other buttons. This uh, semicircle arrow is to reset all of these to default. You also have a help button there and then the settings. Let's jump into the settings and see what we have. Once again, we've got talkback turned on. General, color filters, activate or deactivate specific color filters. So this is really cool. So you can turn off or turn on color filters. Let's jump in there real quick. Color filters, color filters. So not all of them are turned on by default. So you can come in here and customize it. That's really cool. So as I mentioned, that blue and yellow, I personally am never gonna use that. So I can turn that off so I don't have to see it in that, uh, in that list. Black on white, not checked, checkbox. White on black, check, checkbox. Black on yellow, not checked, checkbox. Yellow on black, check, checkbox. Blue on white, not checked, checkbox. White on blue, not checked, checkbox. Blue on yellow, not checked, checkbox. Yellow on blue, check, checkbox. Now there's some camera settings. Highest resolution, enable highest resolution of the camera preview. Disable it to manually select a resolution, check, checkbox. So you're probably gonna wanna leave this checked. Uh, it's gonna use the highest resolution that your device can provide. It's gonna give the best picture. Manually select resolution, 1920, zoom. Zoom level extension, select a value to add to the maximum zoom level. So you can extend the zoom level. Camera zoom. Use the camera zoom to get the BES zoom quality. Check, checkbox. And then finally, another option that I think is really cool is you can actually save the pictures that you take. So if I press the pause button here, which freeze frames, you see right underneath that button pops out a camera button or a button with a camera on it. If I were to press that button, saving image and pops up and, and asks us how we want to save it or we can share it through Facebook, um, all kinds of social media things, send it in a text, send it in an email, all sorts of different options. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I like this app because it has all the things I need and it doesn't try to throw in a bunch of junk that I don't need. <laughs> and it just works. Everything works really, really well. This has officially become my favorite magnifying app for Android. Okay, so that was WeZoom on Android. Uh, I think it's really cool. Definitely check it out. As I said at the beginning of the video, it's free, so can't go wrong. Now, some people might say, well, why do you need a different magnifier app? Because a lot of these devices already have one built in. I know the iPhone comes with one. Um, my Galaxy S8 for Samsung came with one already installed. But everybody's different and one person might really like that built-in magnifying app and then somebody might not. Something about it just might drive them crazy. And so that's the great thing about smartphones in general is that if you're not happy with something, the way an app works, Go into the Play Store, go into the App Store, and search for a different one. Chances are there's going to be about 150 other apps <laughs> that do exactly the same thing, but you might be able to find one that works better for you. So question of the day, do you guys use a magnifying app? If you do, which one do you use? I'm sure a lot of people are curious about that. 
And also iPhone users and iPad users. What do you guys use? I'd love to know. I don't have an iPhone, I've got an iPad and it's the big 12 inch iPad. And because of that, I don't tend to use it for magnification because it's so big and cumbersome. I tend to just grab my phone because it's smaller. And so since I'm an Android user, that's what I'm using. So I'm very curious to know what iPhone users are using for magnification. All right, guys, as always, if you have any questions, let me know down below. I'll do my best to help out. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, be sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. Click on notifications so you can stay up to date with all the videos I put out in the future. I might actually get this all in one take. Awesome. Sam with the Blind Life. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. <laughs> this is too much blue for one set. I might need to stop wearing blue shirts. <laughs>